everybody, E here. It's my most anticipated book of the year. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. And yes, as the goofball in the intro said, uh, this is this was my most anticipated book of the year. It is Brother Robert by Anya C. Anderson. Um, A-N-N-Y-A. -N -N they tell you how to pronounce it in the forward of the book. It's Anya. Um, I believe it's African. Uh, I'm not exactly. I'm not exactly sure, um, but it is in the forward. They explain it. Uh, the, pronunci the pronunciation is, in any ways. I am a massive Robert Johnson fan. Um, there is only, up until this photo was given to the publisher, there were only two pictures of this man available, period. Um, he is a blues legend. Um, some say that he is the progenitor of Delta Blues. Um, I don't know enough about Delta Blues other than being a huge fan of it. I need to read up on it some more. Um, other than me loving the music, I don't know a whole lot. I love Sun House. I, there's so there's so many I could sit here and list. And this book talks. It's like a who's who of Delta Blues musicians and rock rock musicians and blues musicians, jazz musicians, all that stuff. She talks about all that. But Anya C. Anderson is was well is whatever uh, Robert Johnson's uh, kind of sister. I, I don't want to explain too much. I want you to go out and read it especially if you're a fan of the blues. Um, there was, what this book does is this book adds a humanity to this mythical uh, character. I mean, if, you, if let's just go ahead and say it. From what his sister says, from what Anya, oh, sorry, I'm gonna call her Miss Anderson. From what Miss Anderson says in this book, we got it wrong. Everything that we've ever heard about Robert Johnson has been wrong. The man was kind, he was gentle, he wasn't a fighter, he wasn't a drunk. He wasn't any of the things that history has made him out to be. And one of the main reasons for that is, and they explain it in here, his history was written by white people, by white men, who didn't even know him, who didn't even come around until after he had died. So most of the history that you get from, from for Robert Johnson are written by people who were never around him, not even in his culture, not even in his town. We're, just, we're talking about record execs and all, all this other nonsense. Um, also, that brings up a dilemma here for me. How do I consume Robert Johnson's music in the future? The people who own the rights, the, the family never got a single penny for his, for his work, for his music. The estate never received a single penny, though they fought tooth and nail for decades. Never got a single penny. Still, have, as of the publishing of this book, I hope this book sells millions and becomes a bestseller because this lady deserves every penny. Um, the, the way they, the record company, and one person in, in particular, screwed over this family utterly enraged me. Now, but at, ethically, how do I go about consuming Robert Johnson's music that I know and love? I can't watch the stuff on YouTube because all the stuff on YouTube's pirated. I can't listen to it. Um, I can't listen to my um, to it on Amazon. I haven't bought any of the CDs, and I, I'm glad I haven't yet. I can't stream it there because the record company is making money off of it, whereas the family's not. How do I? There's no way to support this this wonderful music. There's no way for me to ethically listen to this music. So my question for you down in the doobly doo today is: How do you think? I should go about listening to one of my favorite artists of all time. It's him, Tom Waits, and Slipknot, honestly. As far as male performers, it's those three. Absolutely love it. Love all three of them. Um, but how would you go about it? How do you, how would, just give me some suggestions, give, give me some options, that kind of thing. I would love for the community to talk to me about it. Now, as far as the book itself is concerned, it's wonderfully written, beautifully written. I really love the sections where he was talking about just sitting down and talking to Miss Anderson. Uh, this absolutely fantastic writing, fantastic storytelling. I, and I say storytelling because it is written in like a narrative, non-fiction kind of deal. Um, I appreciated that so much, but I wish... What, actually, I, I was about to say I wish I had been there, but what the author did... Um, it's uh, Preston Lauterbach is the author who interviewed Miss um, Anderson and talked to her about her brother. Um, the... The scenes where he's just sitting there talking to her are, are my favorite, and he put me there as if I was sitting there in the room with them, listening to her talk, 
he gave her a voice and I love this book for that. So whether if you're a fan of memoirs, if you're a fan of just really good stories told, and also if you want to be really, really pissed off, I highly suggest this book. Um, I'm, I'm going to be conflicted for a while on how to go about listening to Robert Johnson stuff in the future. But have you read Brother Robert Mann? This time I'd really, really love to talk to you. Um, have you read Brother Robert? Let me know down there in the doobly doom whether or not you liked it or whether or not you hated it. If you hated it, especially if you hated it, let me know why you hated it. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.